Okay, so this is a continuation of the video of steps 1 to 19. Um, these are now steps 11 to 19. So let's try step number 11. It says change gender. Try changing the gender of the sound file. So let's uh, choose one of the sound files. We'll choose the English one. And let's try going to convert and change gender. And what this does is it shifts the formants of the sound so that a male sounds more like a female and a female sounds more like a male. And we can change the formant shift ratio here. Uh, if it's a male changing to a female, uh, we want a formant shift ratio of about 1.1. So let's try that. And so now we can see a new sound created here. Uh, Hi there, change gender. So here is the original. Hi there. Here is the change gender version. Hi there. Hi there. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like I've inhaled helium or something. Uh, but <laughs> actually, that's uh, that's the change gender version there. Okay. Uh, number t number twelve on our pa paper says uh, make a copy of one of your sounds. Uh, so let's make a copy of this sound. The way we make a copy is down here where it says copy and we can um, uh, make a copy of Konnichiwa. So here it's a copy, it has the same sound uh, file name and so we want to rename it. Let's call it Konnichiwa2. So now we have uh, our copy of the original file Okay, now we can uh, do step 13, and that's to try the reverse function. So if we want to reverse a sound file, completely reverse what is being said or what is being played, we can go to modify, and then we can go to uh, reverse, the first one up here. If I reverse this copied sound, now uh, you, can, you can hear... That's konnichiwa backwards. Okay, so uh, there you go. Uh, number 14 on our page, select the reversed sound and the original konnichiwa sound and combine them to stereo. So uh, to, oh, I, I did shift click when in fact uh, I should do a command click on the Mac and I can select two of these sounds and then combine to stereo like we did in our other video. So I've combined the two sounds to stereo. Let's look at it. You can see the top one, channel 1, is Konnichiwa. Channel 2 is the backwards version of Konnichiwa. And so if I play this... Konnichiwa. 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 Wow, it sounds bizarre. Okay, um, number 15 says make a copy of hello or hi there. Uh, so let's close this window first. Go back here, make a copy of hi there. Let's call it hi there too. Okay. And number 16 says select the copy of hi there and set part to zero under the modify menu. Okay. So uh, let's go to the modify menu and set part to zero. Here I can choose what part of the sound file to set to zero. So for example, if I choose uh, from 0 0.2 seconds to 0 0.4 seconds, and I click OK, now what has happened is, if I view and edit, the middle part of the sound from this point, from 0 0.2 seconds to 0 0.4 seconds, has been set to zero, basically has been not deleted because it still exists, it's just silence. Okay, and so it sounds like this. Hot air, hot air, hot air. Okay, okay. Um, the next part, uh, number 17, is use the query button and try many of the options. What information is this? So uh, if I go back to hi there again and I go to the query button. Uh, here are many options here that we can get. Uh, get the value, get start time, end time, total duration, 
uh, get number of samples we've already seen get sampling frequency before get number of channels so this is all getting information about our sound file okay energy power down here and so on okay I won't uh, bother going through those steps but you can do that uh, on your own okay and uh, number 18 is go to the Pratt menu on the menu bar so the Pratt menu is up here at the very top um, and you can see here it says new Pratt script if we choose new Pratt script an untitled script window appears here and now um, from the edit menu I want to clear history clear all the history of my mouse clicks okay and now um, in number 19 select any sound in the objects window let's select konnichiwa and try any button so if I go to modify and reverse for example now I've reversed it now if I go over here to the untitled script window and now I go to the edit menu and I paste history what happens is that all of my mouse clicks from the time that I that I uh, deleted my history um, they appear here as commands in a script so the first thing I did was I selected an object the object was sound konnichiwa I selected this object over here the next command says reverse and that's just the modify reverse okay so when we write it in a script this is what it looks like now if I run this script run and run okay or command R if I run this script it now has reversed konnichiwa back to its original okay if I view that okay and play this konnichiwa, konnichiwa. By the way, you can play a file using the tab key. Konnichiwa. Okay, it, it's the original. If I run this script again, now you can see right away on the screen this is flipped around. This is reversed. Now it sounds um, uh, like some foreign language, and it's reversed. Okay, so those are all the all the steps. Um, uh, copy and uh, sorry, pasting the history is a good way of actually uh, learning some of the functions, the scripting functions. Okay, that's it for this script.